While Neanderthals were renowned for their freakish strength, the Siberian Denisovans might have been physically even more formidable. Denisovans and Neanderthals interacted and interbred in regions where their ranges overlapped, including Central Asia and Eastern Europe. Genetic research shows that Neanderthals in Europe and Denisovans in Asia shared a common ancestor and interacted genetically. This shared Denisovan Neanderthal ancestry may explain why Denisovan genes appear in populations far beyond their known range, including in Europe. The mystery of Denisovan fossils in Europe stems from the fact that, while genetic evidence indicates Denisovans influenced the ancestry of modern humans in Europe, no direct Denisovan fossils have been found in the region. This paradox raises intriguing questions about the Denisovans' range and interactions with other hominins, such as Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. One of the intriguing theories arising from fossil analysis in Eastern Europe and Siberia is that some Eastern Neanderthals could in fact be Denisovans or Denisovan hybrids. However, genetic evidence suggests that Denisovans must have had a broader range, with traces of their DNA appearing in populations far beyond Siberia. This includes Neanderthals, with whom Denisovans interbred, as well as Homo sapiens in Europe, even though no Denisovan fossils have been found there. This genetic exchange suggests that Denisovans might have been present in parts of Europe or regions close to Europe, even if no direct fossil evidence has been uncovered. Neanderthal fossils with Denisovan ancestry might explain the spread of Denisovan genes into Europe. Some researchers suggest that fossils from Eastern Europe or Siberia could represent Denisovans or hybrids. For example, the discovery of the Denisovan Neanderthal hybrid, a female offspring of a Denisovan father and a Neanderthal mother found in Denisova cave in Siberia, underscores the likelihood of interbreeding in regions bordering Europe. The unique robustness observed in Denisovan-like fossils from Siberia could mean these individuals belong to a distinct lineage adapted to life in rugged, mountainous regions, where climbing and carrying heavy loads would be essential survival skills. The Denisovan strength has significant implications for understanding their daily life and survival strategies. The sheer physicality would have given Denisovans an advantage in cold, resource-scarce environments, allowing them to traverse challenging terrains and hunt large prey. The stocky build and strong muscles would have been advantageous in generating body heat and withstanding frigid conditions, possibly explaining why Denisovans spread across Siberia and even into the Himalayas. Denisovans' enhanced musculature and strength could also mean they had different hunting strategies than Neanderthals, perhaps relying on raw power, brute force and endurance over technique. Their skeletal build suggests that Denisovans could handle prolonged physical exertion, which would be essential for a lifestyle that may have involved extensive travel across vast areas to find food or to migrate in response to environmental shifts. The discovery of Denisovans has fascinated scientists, especially due to the unique robustness of their skeletal remains. Denisovans, like Neanderthals, adapted to harsh climates and rugged terrains, but recent evidence from anatomical reconstructions using DNA methylation maps suggests that Denisovans possessed an extraordinary strong and muscular build, even surpassing that of Neanderthals. We won't go so far as to compare them to a silverback gorilla, but Denisovans were like a Neanderthal on steroids. A groundbreaking study titled Reconstructing Denisovan Anatomy Using DNA Methylation Maps provides a groundbreaking look into the physicality of Denisovans illustrating how methylation patterns can be translated into physical characteristics like bone density, muscle mass, and joint structure. DNA methylation, a biological process that modifies DNA without changing its sequence, affects gene expression and can be used to infer anatomical traits of ancient hominins. In the study, scientists examined methylation patterns in Denisovan DNA and compared them to those of Neanderthals and modern humans, identifying genes associated with skeletal development, muscle attachment and growth. This study aligns with the general robustness inferred from Denisova molars, which were large and strong, hinting at a diet that required significant chewing power. Denisova molars are large and uniquely shaped, suggesting that Denisova may have had a different diet compared to both Neanderthals and modern humans.
These differences in dental anatomy also hint at other aspects of their skull and facial structure, leading researchers to conclude that Denisova might have had broader, flatter faces. In fact, one of the most significant insights was regarding their facial structure. The distinct facial features and skull structure indicate that they were a unique group of archaic humans, adapted in ways that set them apart from both Neanderthals and modern humans. The study also predicted that Denisovans had a distinct cranial shape, different from Neanderthal humans and modern humans, while exact details about the brain structure were harder to determine. The differences in skull shape suggest there may have been variations in how certain parts of the brain developed, which could have implications for understanding their cognitive abilities and behaviours. This research provides critical insights, suggesting that Denisovans exhibited changes at genes related to increased bone density and muscle mass. Key findings include robust limb proportions, which indicate a stocky, muscular build optimised for strength rather than speed. Denisovan bones appear thicker, with prominent areas for muscle attachment, particularly in the arms and shoulders, pointing to the adaptation of a highly muscular upper body. These thick bones and large muscle attachments indicated superhuman physique, far exceeding the largest and most robust humans today. Neanderthals had short, stocky builds, well suited to cold climates, and were highly muscular, but the Denisovan skeletal structure, when inferred from methylation data, reveals several unique traits. Denisovan limb bones were found to have thicker shafts and denser cortical bone, which would provide additional support for greater muscle attachment and a capacity to withstand intense physical stresses, such as carrying heavy animal carcasses across rugged landscapes. Moreover, Denisovan's large, thickened joints in the shoulder and elbow indicate a powerful upper body. These features are reminiscent of Neanderthals, but are generally larger, suggesting Denisovans could perform strenuous tasks over long periods without fatigue. The enhanced strength and durability likely contributed to survival advantages in the harsh Siberian and Central Asian environments they occupied. The Denisovan specimens from Siberia also had huge and robust hand bones, further emphasizing this point. Analysis of Denisova DNA also suggested adaptations in the wrist and hand bones, hinting at powerful hands capable of grasping and manipulating tools. This complements the robust build inferred from other aspects of their skeletal structure, pointing to an archaic human well adapted for strength and endurance. The Popeye Neanderthal refers to a specimen with extraordinary arm robustness, a condition attributed to unique androgenic or hormone-driven developments that stimulated extreme muscularity and bone density. This specimen showcases an unusual degree of arm strength, far beyond what is typically observed in Neanderthals, suggesting a possible link between hormone levels and skeletal adaptation. This androgenic trait, characterized by elevated testosterone levels or sensitivity to androgens, would result in denser bone structure and muscle mass, a condition that aligns intriguingly with Denisovan physiology inferred through genetic studies, to be similarly robust and powerfully built. This particular specimen, characterized as having Popeye arms due to his unusually robust arm bones, aligns with the Denisovan profile rather than typical Neanderthal anatomy. This specimen exhibits exaggerated muscle attachment points in the forearms and upper arms, which are far beyond what is usually observed in Neanderthal remains. The arm bones' sheer strength suggests an anatomy designed for extreme endurance or high-impact activities such as hunting with heavy weapons or sustained climbing. Indeed, this specimen exhibits skeletal markers indicative of high androgenic activity, which generally leads to increased muscle growth, bone density and larger attachment sites for tendons. High testosterone levels, combined with a greater sensitivity to this hormone, would drive such developments, especially in the upper limbs. This trait also manifests as pronounced ridges and crests on the bones where muscles attach, especially in the forearms and shoulders, which would allow for enhanced force exertion. This specimen was likely capable of extraordinary upper body strength, useful in activities requiring intense physical endurance, like hunting or traversing harsh terrains. This important point bears repeating. 
This high androgen condition leading to muscle hypertrophy is seen less commonly in typical Neanderthals, making this specimen exceptional. Therefore, this specimen provides insights into variations within Neanderthal populations, especially those living in high-latitude, challenging environments where physical strength would be advantageous for survival. Denisovan physiology, while primarily reconstructed through DNA methylation mapping rather than direct skeletal analysis, indicates that Denisovans likely shared similar physical characteristics with this high-androgen Neanderthal specimen. DNA methylation studies point to genes regulating muscle growth, bone density, and thick joint formations, suggesting Denisovans were exceptionally muscular and robust. Denisovans' genetic expression patterns are consistent with a physique that could bear heavy loads and endure physical hardship. Though Denisovan robustness likely extended throughout the entire body rather than concentrating solely in the arms. While Denisovans may not have shared the exact same androgenic pathway as the Popeye Neanderthal, Denisovan physiology suggests a genetic predisposition toward a more generalized, balanced robustness. For example, Denisovan bone density was likely increased across both upper and lower limbs, indicating a homogeneous adaptation across the body rather than a localized muscular hypertrophy, as seen in the Neanderthal specimen. Therefore, they were even more Neanderthal-like than the Neanderthals, and true freaks of nature. Whereas this specimen exhibits concentrated androgenic traits likely due to pathological hormonal conditions and environmental adaptations, Denisovan robustness appears more genetically hardwired, based on methylation markers in DNA that regulate growth across multiple body regions. Denisovans may not have had such extreme upper-body-only hypertrophy, but instead a balanced robustness that enabled sustained physical strength and endurance. In other words, they had a lot of testosterone. These androgenic traits in both Denisovans and Neanderthals hint at varied adaptive paths. Denisovans may have evolved systemic robustness from long-term selection pressures in harsh environments, while some Neanderthals developed specialized upper-body strength adaptations in response to different ecological niches. Together, they reflect the diverse adaptive strategies of early hominins, with Denisovans as a uniquely resilient branch displaying an intrinsic, holistic robustness. While the Popeye Neanderthal exemplifies an extreme, potentially androgen-driven adaptation, Denisovans offer an example of a consistent systemic robustness likely due to long-term genetic adaptations, showcasing the remarkable diversity in early human physiology. However, another possibility, as mentioned, is he was a hybrid or a full-blooded Denisovan, but no DNA has been obtained from the specimen, so we can only speculate as to his ancestry. In summary, Denisovans were adapted to some of the most demanding environments on Earth, and their robust build reflects a lifestyle centered around physical resilience and endurance. While Neanderthals shared similar adaptations, Denisovans' DNA reveals a greater emphasis on bone density and muscularity, setting them apart in the hominin lineage. Further, studies of genetic markers related to bone structure indicate that the Denisova, like Neanderthals, were likely well adapted to physically demanding environments. Nevertheless, both Denisovans and Neanderthals, for all their strength, would one day vanish from the earth, replaced by the hyper-efficient Homo sapiens sapiens. But for a time, they were the kings of the north, their spears striking down the mightiest of beasts, their fires burning bright against the dark night. Please check out our channel's other videos to learn more about our shared human history. Thank you and take care.